My name is Rijo George, and working alongside me for this project is Zhai Zhang Wang and Francesco Casalino. Now, if you have a look at these clips on the screen, you'll see that we're all doing something in common which can put us at risk of a virus, which is touching our faces. This is one of the ways a virus can enter our body, and so we decided to engineer a solution for this. As a team, we came out with many different ideas. We selected the three best ideas and compared them with the PMI method. This method consists in putting down plus, minus and interesting points about many solutions to be able to compare them and choose the best one. Our team chose this idea because it's one of the coronavirus prevention guidelines and it can effectively prevent us from touching our face. Our team thinks this idea is better than others. That's because this design can maximize the use of existing equipment and it can well uh, prevent uh, the virus from entering the human body through the eyes and the mouth. The differences between the two ideas are that the cup one works better as the sensor is placed directly above the face, while the other one could find some interferences caused by the movement of clothes. On the other side, not everyone wears a cap normally. We can say that both ideas are good, but they have cons. The device is made by a breadboard that is sticked with a box in the middle of the chest. The box also has a hole at the top to let the sensor work properly. The sensor so is directed straight to my face. In the exact moment something is touching my face, such as my hands, the sensor trigger and turn on the speaker that emits a sound. Our team uses the same sensor device for two models based on the same design concept, so we can use the same code to control the device's work. We use the thin card to track the equipment can work well, then we base it on thin card to install the equipment. As you saw there, the prototypes worked fine, but they have a few flaws. The wires are uncomfortable and the box is bulky. So we decided it was best for us to make a 3D model of what the device would look like if we solved all those issues. As you can see, the device is small, lightweight, and you can clip it onto your hat or your t-shirt. Thanks for watching. I hope everything was clear. Feel free to contact us for any queries.